YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl, Jahira, and I am back. What's going on, y'all? I hope you're well. I pray that you're well. Um, I wanted to come in kind of quickly. I'm not going to like quote quickly because it might not be that damn quick. But I kind of wanted to get you up to speed on where I have been for the past kind of what's been going on for the past couple of weeks. Um, and just to get some stuff off of my chest. Language warning now. And I'm prepping my nighttime routine, so if you'll forgive me. Um, I, I am the kind of person, I have a very sort of specific approach to my YouTube channel. And I am the kind of person who, when there is a great deal of stuff going on in my life of that, that could be of a traumatic nature, a stressful nature, something along those lines, I am not the kind of person who likes to jump on and tell y'all all about it uh, until the issue has been resolved. Um, that's just who I am. You know, I mean, this, this channel got started for the purpose of empowering you, for the purpose of you putting yourself, you know, on, on a higher level of importance in your own life, for the, the purpose of, you know, making you a priority. And, and that's why I started this channel. That was the goal from the beginning. It's not for me to use you for therapy. It's not for me to crowdfund or be a YouTube panhandler. That's not what I'm here for. I'm not here begging for stuff. Jesus. But yeah, so um, needless to say, I have been gone for a couple of weeks now. The reason why I was gone is because I lost two people who were very dear to me, incredibly dear to me, in the span of about two weeks. And um, no, it really was, like it was literally two weeks. Two separate people, two separate incidents in the span of two weeks. And it was devastating for me. I mean, devastating for me because uh, both of the circumstances were incredibly sudden. These people were very young. Um, and it was just, and, and I loved them. I loved them dearly. And it, I mean, there are no words. And, and I was heartbroken and I needed some time. And I also ended up going, um, to Washington DC for the homegoing service of one of my loved ones, um, where I spent a week. And, um, it's not the kind of thing where I can say I had a great time because obviously, you know, circumstances, but it, it was a necessary trip and it was incredibly healing. And um, I needed to be around some people who loved me and I got that opportunity and I'm grateful for it. So that's where I was and that's why I've been gone. And it took this much time for me to kind of restore, you know, and so now I'm here. Now I'm here. You know, I want to tell y'all, because I can feel myself about to say it, so I might as well jump into it. I want to tell y'all that I, I don't derive a great deal of pleasure, or really any pleasure at all, on the suffering of others. I don't feel good about it. It doesn't bring me any joy. Knowing that somebody else is not doing well, it, it, it doesn't conjure up great feelings of vindication, you know. I don't like seeing folks struggle. Even folks that I might not necessarily be oh so close to, you know, and I don't feel good about anybody not doing well. But I will say, there are people in this world who will occasionally make it very difficult for you to feel a sense of empathy for their difficult times. Those of you who are new to my channel who came to me by way of a video that was posted by another YouTube personality um, know that, you know, a, a, a video was made regarding um, my involvement in the life of 
someone else and and a screenshot of one of my videos was posted with a smiley face over my face but the the title of the video was still really visible um and and I addressed that issue I made a video I came back to YouTube after a year of being gone and and I addressed that video and I thought it and and after releasing that video um this individual made a video apologizing to me for their lack of terminology because in their video they referred to me as a transgender man now i'm gonna say this one more time for the cheap seats in the back i am a woman of trans experience i am a woman <laughs> My journey to womanhood included a transition. So I was not born anatomically female. I literally don't know another way to put that. I think I covered everything, okay? Not born anatomically female. Underwent a transition that involved chemicals, and some incredibly expensive and very painful surgery. Woman. Okay? Are we there? Do you need to buy a vowel? Okay. As long as we're good. So, but, but this individual made a video apologizing for their lack of terminology. And upon doing so, I was under the impression that this issue had been squashed. That the issue had been resolved. That this individual had recognized the error of their ways and was being a real grown woman about it and expressed remorse for dragging me into her bullshit with her brother. And I felt good about that until I was sent a video dated April 11th on YouTube in which again, while discussing her brother, her brother whom I have not seen in upwards of, oh God, has it been a decade? Her, her, her brother who I still consider a friend. She mentions again, this transgender man, this homosexual, now I'm a homosexual. Y'all gotta wait a second. I don't know when this happened. I looked all over this room and could not find a single homosexual. And then I realized she was talking about me. So now evidently I'm a homosexual that her brother was with for two years or something like that. And I'm a big believer in the teachable moment. So that's why I'm utilizing this time with y'all. If I, you know, I mean, I mean and, and she, if I who was born anatomically male who grew up to be the reasonably funny and kind of cute woman that you see today can be with a guy and I have been and am currently with a guy whose sexuality is in no way affected by my history. So now all of a sudden, because her brother allegedly had an interaction with me of a romantic nature, now he's bisexual, now he's gay because I was born anatomically male. Let me tell y'all how that sounds. That's like saying, because you were born a little girl or a baby or an infant, your husband is a pedophile. Just let it sink in. I'm gonna wait. I will wait. Because if we're basing people's sexual identities on the strength of their partner's past, that must make every husband in this world right now a child molester. Because you used to be a baby. The fuck. The whole entire fuck. The fuck. Language, y'all. I'm sorry. I just... 
I've been trying, y'all. I've been trying because I've been hearing. You know, I've got some loyal ass subtastics. Make no mistake about it. Y'all are some riders. And I know. And I'm grateful. So I've been seeing, I've been hearing little shots being taken, little shots being thrown. I continue to be referenced by this individual and see what's burning my toast on both sides about all of this is that I've been praying for this bitch. Excuse me, y'all, and I'm sorry, I'm really trying, but this is the end of my rope. I have been praying about the situation with her family. I have been praying about the situation with the custody of her son. I have been praying about her living situation. I have literally gone to Jesus personally about this woman who cannot seem to keep my name or reference or identifying characteristics or my history out of her mouth. And it's frustrating me. It's wildly frustrating because I want to see people do well. I want to see people winning, especially on the YT because y'all, this shit is not easy. It's not easy. I mean, I don't do half of what I could. I am not the chick that goes all the way in with the lighting and the editing and the judge and making sure everything is, you know what I'm saying? I'm not getting paid for this shit. This is as raw as it gets because no one is cutting me a check. So I don't have to monitor or edit what comes out of my mouth. I don't have an audience to pander to. Y'all just take me for who I am, which is what I love about you. But like, I, I, I'm not burdened or pressured by the constraints of these people paying my bills and sticking food in my mouth the way others are. So I'm able to kind of do as I please. You know what I'm saying? But like, again, this is not easy. It is not an easy job to have if this is your job. I get that. So I have nothing to gain by this woman failing. Nothing. It's not going to put a morsel of food in my mouth. And y'all know I require considerably more than a morsel. It's not going to put no Lane Bryant on my back. It's not going to put a cigarette in my mouth. Like it, 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 I have nothing to benefit from this woman floundering through life, struggling like fuck. It, it, it doesn't affect me in a positive way. So by virtue of my faith, I want to see her succeed I want to see her well. I want to see her positive. I want to see her in a happy place. These things matter to me, but it is getting increasingly difficult to hold on to that desire when every fourth video we're referencing me. It's all coming back to me. And maybe she stopped mentioning my name, but I'm the only person whose picture went up on that video. I'm the only person who who was declared as somebody who had a connection to her brother. And so I'm I'm trying I'm trying to stay prayerful and I'm trying to stay hopeful for a brighter future for her, but I'm struggling. So I'm going to ask that y'all pray for me so that I can pray for her because I have too many blessings coming my way to jeopardize them being hateful towards this person. There's just too many good things happening. And I promise I'm gonna tell y'all as soon as a couple of things fall into place, like you're gonna know everything because that's what we do here. But, but I'm just, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Your, yo, yo, Nina, fuck it. Derek has enough drama in his life that you can reference that technically you and I both know about without dragging me into this bullshit. Like, there's enough. There's enough by itself without throwing shots at me because I have not done this to you. I haven't done this to you. So I'm asking you as a grown woman to respect my privacy, to keep your people with the wrong intentions off of my channel, to not give anybody some sense of curiosity or inspiration to check me out because of some shit that you said. Leave me alone. If you want to hit up 
my Instagram or whatever the case is. Like, if you want to talk, you could get my number. You could definitely get my number. We'll have a whole conversation. I don't mind none of that. But leave me alone on here. Like, dead ass. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. With that said, y'all, I'm going. I love you and I'm thinking of you wherever you may go. Please take my love with you and know that we will be talking again very soon under very different circumstances. Thank y'all for listening. One love.